Wait, mental health and gut health are connected? I had no idea. Let's talk about that just a little bit today in this short video. So I have had that conversation several times in the last week about the connection between gut health and mental health. So many people are running around thinking that taking Prozac, fluoxetine, antidepressants, anti-anxiety medicines is their only solution when they feel like they're struggling with moodiness, depression, anxiety, they can't focus, things like that. And then we have a really great conversation and they go, I had no idea. And let me hit the highlights really, really quickly. The, the link to read this full article is going to be in the um, comments and description of this video. And then also there's a link to um, schedule a call if any of this stuff that I've said hits home with you and you want to find out if you need to look at some of these tests for yourself and, and just ask some questions about whether or not you want to um, look at your gut health as a um, maybe an issue with your mental health. But 95% of serotonin is created in the intestines. Serotonin is one of the neurotransmitters that makes us feel good. So you can see where if, if we don't have a good um, environment to create this, then we get prescribed something called an SSRI, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. And that that is because the serotonin production gets disrupted in a non-healthy functioning gut. So that's obviously very oversimplified and um, but in the interest of time and just keeping it simple, I wanted to, to keep it pretty basic. And then the other thing is that missing some nutrients. B6 is, is a great example of this. B6 is very important to the creation of some of these neurotransmitters, which is a fancy way to say brain chemicals. So when we don't have enough good, healthy B vitamins, we, we don't have the building blocks to make these neurotransmitters. So those are two things that I, I see quite often. And some of the things you can do, if, if you're struggling with this and you want to try some things on your own, you can make sure you're eating a diet that is full of good, healthy, whole, real foods, not processed and packaged, refined sugars and carbohydrates and things like that, but leaning more towards good protein sources like grass-fed beef, pastured um, chicken, free-range eggs, um, wild-caught fish, healthy fats like avocados and coconuts and nuts and lots and lots of vegetables, uh, some small amounts of fruit, and then um, really eliminating processed grains and sugar and things like that. You can make sure that you're drinking plenty of, of good water. You can use some strategic supplements like um, probiotics to help encourage the right um, bacterial balance in the gut. You can use things like um, digestive enzymes and um, supports for good, strong stomach acid, that, that can help a lot. And then um, other things like aloe and slippery elm and oregano and all, all kinds of different things if, if needed to help really um, heal and restore the gut. So those are some gut strategies. And just, I, if, if I did nothing else but just introduce you to this idea that gut health can affect mental health, that, that was my intention because so many people are not being told that and they're running around thinking that their only choice is these medications that have a, a long list of, of side effects, especially if used long term and they're looking for a more root cause um, type of health care. So um, if, if that's you, I encourage you to um, connect with me and we can, we can step through that. But thanks for watching and have a great day.